Oprah Winfrey has told thousands of stories and touched millions of hearts over the years. But to be a guest and share her stage puts you in a fairly exclusive club. Our Stephen Clark is in that club and he's here now with a look back. Stephen? Oh, yeah, it was 10 years ago, almost exactly. I'd been a news anchor in New York City when management decided not to renew my contract and they cut me loose. Now I was focusing on what I'd lost and almost missed the most important discovery of my life, what I had gained. I'll let Oprah pick up the story. But Stephen was in for a big change. When he was unexpectedly laid off, without a job and a paycheck, his family decided to do something drastic. They packed up their car and drove across the country for almost four months. We sold the house, put everything in storage, took our kids out of school a month, month and a half early, and uh, just hit the road. We made a deal that the kids could pick a couple spots on a map and we'd go there. On that family road trip, Stephen made the most important discovery of his life. We were in a motel room and my wife was in the other room. I was standing in the kitchen with my youngest daughter, Hillary. Hillary tried to reach up to a counter to get a glass out and couldn't reach it. She turned around, passed me and yelled, Mom, can you get me a drink of water? And it dawned on me that they're looking right through me. I'm not even here. I think I actually said to myself, am I this invisible to my children. But you learned a lot about yourself and your children and also probably had you thought before that you were disconnected from your kids? Would you have said that you were, were a disconnected dad? Yeah, I thought I was. I, I, I knew I was. Mm -hmm. um, probably years before, but I didn't know how to cross that barrier. I just never had the tools to make that leap across the barrier. So I knew there was a disconnect, but it really, I think, to be standing there when I was suddenly available. I was available yeah. this time and they looked through me, so suddenly the disconnect became very obvious. Which I know you didn't even know you were doing, right? Yeah. You say, Mom, get me the water, and Dad's standing right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you think your dad's been a better father since then? Yeah, I think he has, because he's just more there, and he knows his place now. He knows his place. <laughs> Good. Would you say, what, what difference have you noticed? What difference have you noticed? He's always there yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's always there for us and he's not at work uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay sometimes I'm work. Yeah, right. I, I spend more time with them to this day I still have people stop me on the street and talk about how much hearing my story helped change their lives and that my friends is testament to the incredible impact Oprah Winfrey has had on so many of our lives oh such a great story wonderful you know, story I'm looking at the girls they were so precious, so the precious girls. Girls. you know the funny thing about that really quickly is uh, originally the producer said uh, the kids will watch from in the green room and you guys go out there and we're saying well no we told no. the kids are gonna be on Oprah and they said no no they won't and I said well, what kind of father would I be if I didn't let them go on Oprah so they went back Oprah said oh sure bring them out and so they were on the show and became the highlight of the show oh that's great. thank you so yeah. much